The Aston Martin DB5 is a British luxury grand tourer that was made by Aston Martin and designed by the Italian coachbuilder Carrozzeria Touring Superleggera. Released in 1963, it was an evolution of the final series of DB4. Although not the first in the DB series, the DB5 is the best-known cinematic James Bond car, first appearing in the James Bond film Goldfinger. Aston Martin DB5 the principal differences between the DB4 Series 5 and the DB5 are the all-aluminium engine, enlarged from 3.7 liters to 4.0 liters, a new robust ZF5 speed transmission, and 3 SU carburetors. This engine, producing 282 bhp, which propelled the car to 145 miles per hour, available on the Vantage version of the DB4 since March 1962 became the standard Aston Martin power unit with the launch in September 1963 of the DB5. Standard equipment on the DB5 included reclining seats, wool pile carpets, electric windows, twin fuel tanks, chrome wire wheels, oil cooler. Magnesium alloy body built to superleggera patent technique, full leather trim in the cabin and even a fire extinguisher. All models have two doors and are of a 2 plus 2 configuration. The boot lids differed slightly between the DB4 Mark V and the DB5. Like the DB4, the DB5 used a live rear axle. At the beginning, the original 4-speed manual was standard fitment, but it was soon dropped in favor of the ZF5 speed. A 3-speed BorgWarner DG automatic transmission was available as well. The automatic option was then changed to the BorgWarner Model 8 shortly before the DB6 replaced the DB5. An Aston Martin DB5 engine. Standard coupe, Aston Martin DB5 Vantage. The high performance DB5 Vantage was introduced in 1964 featuring three Weber carburetors and revised camshaft profiles, delivering greater top end performance at the possible expense of drivability. As Webers are typically optimized for full throttle response. This engine produced 325 bhp at 5,500 revolutions per minute. 65 DB5 Vantage coupes were built. 1965 DB5 Vantage Convertible. 123 convertible DB5s were produced, though they did not use the typical Volante name until 1965. The convertible model was offered from 1963 through to 1965. Originally only 19 of the 123 DB5 convertibles made were left-hand drive. 12 cars were originally fitted with a factory Vantage engine, and at least one further convertible was subsequently factory fitted with a DB6 specification Vantage engine. A rare factory option was a steel removable hardtop. From October 1965 to October 1966, Aston Martin used the last 37 of the Aston Martin DB5 chassis to make another convertible model. These 37 cars were known as short chassis volant and were the first Aston Martins to have the Volante name. Although calling it a short chassis is a bit of a misnomer as the short comes from comparing it to the subsequent DB6, which has a longer chassis. When compared to the DB5, it is not short but rather the same size. However, these cars differ from the DB5 convertible models as they feature DB6 split front and rear bumpers and rear TR4 lights, as also used on the DB6. DB5 Shooting Brake A prototype DB5 shooting brake was custom produced by the factory for David Brown, an avid hunter and dog owner, and a further 11 to 12 coupes were custom modified for Aston Martin by independent coach builder, Harold Radford. The taillights used were Triumph units, and were also adopted for the succeeding DB6. In August 2019 a DB5 sold for a record $1.765 meters making it the most valuable shooting brake-bodied car of any mark sold at auction. Two Aston Martin DB5s were supplied to Eon Productions, one of which had no gadgets. The Aston Martin DB5 is a well-known car thanks to special effects expert John Steers, who modified the DB5 for use by James Bond in the film Goldfinger. Although Ian Fleming had placed Bond in a DB Mark III in the novel, Steers persuaded the company to make its DB5 prototype available. There were a total of four Goldfinger DB5s. Two of these were used in filming and two were used only for promotional purposes. The first filming car, DP-2161-1, was added with gadgets. This DB5 was the original prototype and was painted Dubonnet red. Before it appeared in Goldfinger, it was used in episode 2. 17. The Noble Sportsman, of the Saint. This chassis number DP-216-1 was later stripped of its weaponry and gadgetry by Aston Martin and then resold. 
It was then retrofitted by subsequent owners with non-original weaponry. It later appeared in the film The Cannonball Run, in which it was driven by Roger Moore. The chassis DP-216-1 DB-5 was stolen in 1997 from its last owner in Florida and is currently still missing. The second filming car, DB-5-1486-R, was used for driving scenes and had no gadgets. After filming, gadgets were added and the car was used for promotion. It features the pop-out gun barrels behind the front indicators, the bullet shield behind the rear window and a three-way revolving front number plate showing Lou 6789 or 4711 EA62 or BMT 216A. In 2010 RM Auctions sold the car for $4.6 $6 to Harry Yagi. The first publicity car, DB5-2017-R, now belongs to the Lumen Museum in The Hague. The second publicity car, DB5-2008-R, was auctioned by RM Sotheby's in August 2019 for $6.4 million to an unknown buyer. To promote the film, the two DB5s were displayed at the 1964 New York World's Fair, where it was dubbed the most famous car in the world, and subsequently sales of the car rose. Since the film, the DB5 has become closely associated with the James Bond franchise and is considered the quintessential vehicle of the character. As such, it has reappeared in subsequent films over the years. Within the universe of James Bond, the same car was used again in the following film, Thunderball, a year later. Aston Martin DB5 used for the film GoldenEye A different Aston Martin DB5 was used in the 1995 Bond film GoldenEye, in which the car is Bond's personal vehicle and has no gadgets, although it did come equipped with a champagne cooler in the armrest and a fax machine. Three different DB5s were used for filming. This same car briefly reappeared in the next film, Tomorrow Never Dies, and was set to make a cameo appearance in the Scotland set scenes in The World Is Not Enough, but most of the scenes were cut in the final edit. Yet another DB5 appeared in Casino Royale, this time owned by the villain, Alex Dimitrios. This car has Bahamian number plates and left-hand drive. In the film Bond wins the car from Dimitrios after beating him in a card game. The GoldenEye DB5 currently resides at the London Film Museum in Covent Garden. Of the three cars used in the production, one car was filmed for the static Oceanside shot, one's participation is unknown, and DB5-1885-R was driven in the chase scene against the Ferrari in Monte Carlo. DB5-1885-R was bought at a Christie's auction in 2001 and entered the Guinness Book of Records that year for the highest paid for an item of Bond memorabilia. It was first exhibited at the Bond exhibition at Bewley before moving to its new home in the London Film Museum. Another Silver Birch DB5 with the original registration BMT216A was used in the 23rd James Bond film, Skyfall, at the time of the 50th anniversary of the release of the first James Bond film Dr. No. The car is destroyed in the film's climactic finale. It is seen again in Spectre, firstly in Q's underground workshop in various stages of rebuild, and at the film's ending, fully rebuilt, with Bond driving away with it. In 2019, it was confirmed by Aston Martin that the car would be featured in the next Bond film, No Time to Die, to be released in October 2021. The plan was to build a replica, not use an existing vehicle. Eight replica Aston Martin DB5 stunt cars were built for the movie. Aston Martin has completed manufacturing 25 new DB5s, including many of the gadgets seen in the film, each selling for about GB pound to 75 million. The Goldfinger DB5 cars were to have several functional spy gadgets, including smoke screen, oil slick, revolving license plates, machine guns and rear bullet shield. Wherever possible Aston Martin used the same manufacturers as the original production run. For example ZF Friedrichs often again supplied the transmission as did Connolly Leather supply the interiors. As in the 1960s, the aluminum body was handmade and fitted to the body and completed in the same silver birch color scheme. 1964 Aston Martin DB5, produced by Corgi Toys, as a tie-in to the film. With Goldfinger, Corgi Toys began its decades-long relationship with the Bond franchise, they produced a toy of the car, which became the biggest selling toy of 1964. A highly detailed 124-scale plastic kit was also produced by Airfix between 1966 and 1970. A highly detailed 124-scale die-cast model with many working features was produced as a limited edition in 2006 for Casino Royale, by the Danbury Mint. 
In January 2011 a 1 scale model was released by Partwork magazine publisher G. Fabry in the UK. Over 85 weekly parts, the model builds into one of the biggest 007 scale models to date, with working gadgets and lights. In 2015 Hot Wheels Elite released their cult classics Goldfinger Aston Martin DB5 in 118 and 143 scale, the 118 model featured many of the gadgets from the original film. In July 2018 LEGO unveiled a 1 to 8 scale 1290 piece set with front machine guns, hidden telephone, ejector seat, bullet shield, tire shredders and the homing screen in the cockpit. Thanks for watching.